Welcome back everybody to another fun gear review and today we're going to be looking at the Eurolux Percolator 9 cup coffee maker and it is early in the morning and I need my coffee so we are definitely going to be making some coffee in this so take a look here at the box and they give you some filters you don't need filters with this 18.8 uh, stainless steel, heavy duty, that's excellent. Glass knob, awesome. A lot of percolators out there, if you get one, will have a plastic knob, and that's not ideal. Mmm, yes. Little Amazon tag. Okay, let's get this out, and let's take a look at it. Ah, there is the little paper filters. I'm not going to use those because I am old school. But we do have a booklet in here. So we will look at that. All right, let's take a look. That's it. Not a whole lot of instructions there. Let's get this guy out and take a look at it. All right. Oh, there's the there's the perk top. That's well packaged. I like that, so it doesn't break easy. Because when you're dealing with uh, glass, you want to be careful. All right. There we go. That is our percolator. We have cup measurements here. On the outside, it goes from five, seven to nine, right there. Let's see if we can see those on the inside. Yes, you can. You can see those on the inside, that's good. You never want to fill a percolator up you know, you want to stay away from the spout here, otherwise you'll have issues with it coming out. Looks well made. I cannot deform that with my hands, so that's a decent gauge of stainless. This all, yeah, that's all stainless. Yeah, that's all good quality, heck yeah. Okay. Let me give you some quick specs on this. List weight is 1.94 pounds or 879 grams. We will be checking that. The height with the glass installed, 8 inches or 20.3 centimeters. The width at its widest point, that's from the spout to the back of this handle here, widest point, is about 8 inches or 20.3 centimeters. The diameter of the pot itself is about 4 and 3 quarter inches or 12 centimeters. Current price on Amazon $24.95 if anybody is interested. Link in the description. Okay, well, let's check the weight and then we got to make some coffee because I need my morning coffee. I'm not doing well without it. So pounds, one pound and ten and three quarter ounces or 758 grams. That is actually under the list weight. I like that. So the only thing left to do, I'm going to take this into my kitchen. I'm going to take it all apart. I'm going to give it a very good cleaning, and then I'm going to bring you back here, and we're going to set up, and we are going to do some percolator coffee. We are set up. We have our percolator with water in it, our Camping Moon XD1 turbo stove set up to run propane, timer, measuring spoon. We're all set. Now, 
I realized after I had got everything going here that I didn't have any coarse grind coffee. Uh, I have medium ground and fine ground. I don't have anything coarse. So I ran to the store and wouldn't you know it, they're all out. It's like somebody, I don't know what the heck's going on. So I'm going to use some medium ground coffee I have to set this up and we're going to use the paper filters. Now I have rinsed off these paper filters. It's always a good idea if you're using a filter, paper filter, to try to keep any unwanted tastes out of your coffee. So there we go. There's the filter in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to measure this medium ground coffee I have. You want a tablespoon for every cup. Well, I'm going to do five cups. So, there's one. There's two. Three. Four, that's five, and my mom always added one extra spoon. She said that was always to make sure that the coffee turned out right. If anybody's wondering, I have some cheap coffee here, but it it's not too bad, surprisingly, and it's the great value French vanilla. So I'm going to take this, even the grounds out with a little shake. Okay. We'll put that in the percolator. We're going to put the top on. And we're ready to perk. So let me give you some general rules when you're doing this. Average, you want to perk for five minutes once it starts to perk, once you see it in the glass, once you start seeing it perk here. Uh, you go above five minutes, you want stronger coffee. Now, I wouldn't perk for more than 10 minutes. Uh, if you go more than 10 minutes, you're going to end up with a bitter brew. Also, you don't want to try to do dark roast in a percolator. It'll come out bitter no matter what you do. You want a medium or light roast. And this is a medium roast. So let's, uh, let's get this started. There we go. I haven't used this stove in a while and I thought it would be perfect to use a camping stove to do this. But once you see this start to perk, that's when you start to time. I'm going to do six minutes. I don't think it will take long to get this up to the temperature. I just hope there's enough gas in this uh, cylinder. Didn't feel like there was a lot in it. Hopefully enough to make my coffee. Otherwise, I'm gonna go get another gas cylinder. Well, oh, what a morning.
out. We're starting to see a little action there. Now you see that water? It's starting. All right. So I'm going to turn the heat down just a little bit now that it's starting to perk. You want a medium flame. You don't want full blast. And we're going to start the timer. I'm going to turn it down just a hair more. This is the first time I'm perking coffee on this stove. Now another thing you can do if you don't have a timer or a wristwatch is you can just observe the color of the water because as this perks up and goes down through the grains, the water is going to change color and you're going to see that nice rich coffee color. It's already starting to turn color as you can see. The water is constantly recycled through the grounds. And that's why with a percolator you're going to get very rich coffee. In fact, I can smell it already. Ooh. Smelling good. One thing you'll notice, there's a small vent hole right here. I'm going to turn that down just a hair more on the stove. Now you can do a percolator over a campfire, but you just got to really pay attention to it. You got to be able to regulate that temperature. You don't want it going full blast. I've turned down that flame quite a bit. You can barely hear it. Oh, I can smell that coffee. It's making me crazy right now. This reminds me so much of my parents. We have a, a Coleman, old Coleman percolator that we used to take with us up north all the time. And uh, I remember getting up in the morning and smelling what I'm smelling right now, that rich aroma. You don't get this kind of aroma from a drip over automatic coffee maker. Not even close. You can see we got that coffee color going on there in the perk top. Nice, nice. Oh, I love that aroma. I'm starting to wake up just from that aroma. <laughs> We got just under three minutes left here to go before I think that coffee will just be perfect. Looks like I'm going to have to stock up on some coarse grind coffee if I'm going to be using this or get some more uh, paper guys for that basket. You know you're getting good coffee there. Okay, we're just under two minutes to go. And this whole room smells of delicious coffee. Oh my God. Mm.
Okay, we're under a minute. We're rapidly counting down here. You can really, I, I keep saying you can really smell it. I wish you were here. It is in your face, bold aroma. You know, when you, I don't know how many people out there, when I was growing up, uh, the nearest town to us used, uh, had a coffee shop. You know, I come from a small town, at least it used to be small. And we didn't have a coffee shop. We had a diner, but not a coffee shop. But anyway, you'd walk into that coffee shop and it would smell like this. All right, time's up. And I'm turning the flame off. Now, what you want to do is you want to let this set. You see it's still perking even though I shut the flame off because it's still boiling inside that pot. So we're going to give this five minutes for it to settle because no matter what you do, you're going to have some grounds in the bottom of this pot and you want all that to settle to the bottom of the pot. All right, so I will bring you back once five minutes has passed and we're going to pour our first cup. Five minutes have passed. Everything has settled down. Now, some people don't remove the basket. Some people do, but I'm going to show you. You want to put some gloves on because this is all still very hot. You'll come in here and you'll see the top of this basket is all dirty with grounds. Look at that. So you know you've got grounds here. You know you've got grounds below. So I'm just going to lift this whole thing out. We're going to set that to the side. All right. Now we're ready to pour. Let me see if this handle, the handle is warm. You can definitely feel some heat here on the sides from the metal, but it's not uncomfortable. But I am gonna put my gloves on because I'm a little paranoid. And we're using our Stanley Tough to Tip Admiral mug. Look at that. that. Five cups just about filled that. That's about how much coffee I want in the morning. Now, if we look here in the dregs, you can see there's grounds down in there. Not a lot, but you never take all of it. All right. I'm gonna put the lid here on my Admiral's mug. That's, uh, let me take a sip. Cheers. Oh, yeah. That ain't bad. Different, but not bad. All right, let me get all this cleaned up, and I'll bring you back for my final thoughts. Final thoughts time. Well... I can say without a doubt that percolated coffee tastes the best to me. Your mileage may vary, but holy smokes, that was rich, delicious, and perfect in my book. But what do I think of this Eurolux coffee percolator? I think this Eurolux nine cup coffee percolator is perfect for one or two people. Beyond that, you'd need a bigger percolator. Like if you had a group of, you know, three, maybe four people, you're gonna need a bigger one. It's all stainless steel. The perk top is glass, which is a big bonus. Uh, a lot of the ones I was reading reviews on before I settled on this one, a lot of them, the perk top is plastic you know and I I just want to get away from plastic I work in a, a plastics factory and let me tell you at the end of the day I just want to get away from plastic <sighs> overall 
I think for $24.99, this is an excellent buy. However, I would not spend more than that. And there are percolators that are identical to this. The same size, same everything, and they cost more. I wouldn't buy those, all right? One thing I did notice while washing it is this handle right here, this whole wood handle, both sides, absorbs water. Now, I think this wood was lightly oil treated, but that's not preventing it from absorbing water. In fact, feeling it right now, I can tell that that's absorbed some moisture for sure. That and the fact that the way this is made, you know, you got the metal coming right through here. See this metal? So when this gets good and hot and you grab this, you can feel a little bit of heat coming from the sides of these scales. Uh, I think eventually I'm going to have to drill these rivets out and I'm going to redo this handle with a better material. The only other thing I can think of is this glass top this uh, foam that they had in here, this piece, I would keep this piece to put the glass top in here and in here while I transport it to keep it from breaking. That's the only downside to these old school percolators. You can break this glass pretty easy. You'd be surprised. I am gonna get some replacement glass just in case. And the other thing that comes to mind is a little bit of camp safety. If you're using this out in the field uh, and you're in bear country, you better watch yourself because coffee, coffee grounds will bring bears in. They love that smell almost as much as people. So be aware, okay? And that's all I got to say about the Eurolux 9 cup coffee percolator. It's excellent, get it, don't get it, that's up to you. I'm glad I got it for my camping experiences. And thank you for watching and have a great day.